love it when friends stop by on the holiday. I'm John Zadar. This is On Top and Hot, and it is the holiday weekend of the 4th of July. Happy Independence Day, folks. So what I like to do on this show is to share my own personal due diligence with you on hot penny stocks. I trade penny stocks every single day from bell to bell. And at the end of the day, I like to share with you a couple of hot penny stocks I came across. Well, that's great. Gives you something to look at for the next couple of days. But the problem is, is that the news is time sensitive. It's going to get outdated sooner or later. And that video is going to fade away. It's just going to fall to the wayside and nobody's going to watch it anymore. And that's my work wasted. That's information lost forever. So what I prefer to do, folks, is make green videos. A green video is a video that doesn't get outdated. You can watch it at any time and use the information to your advantage. Well, what I want to do today is what I've been doing pretty much all week is share where you can find hot penny stocks, whether it be pre-market, during the market, or after market. A couple of days ago, I showed you how to find hot penny stocks after market. The day ends at four, but that doesn't mean the trading's done. We've got aftermarket hours, four hours of them. But if you just stick around for 30 minutes, you can probably make money off of any news that's coming out after market. Any good news is running, folks, running 20, 50, 100 percent without any opposition, hardly. Sometimes they stay up there, sometimes they fall. But in either case, they're happening every single day. Well, I want to share some more information with you today where you can find hot stocks on a regular basis. Normally, I bring you one or two. Today, I'm going to bring you 26 stocks. But don't worry, it won't take us too long to get through them, hopefully. So what I want to do today is share with you what I call the drop and pop charts. These are only charts we're going to be looking at today. We're not going to be going through any of the news, the filings. We're not going to look at the fundamentals, the financials, the float. We're not going to go through any of that information. It really isn't necessary for what I'm doing. I'm going to share with you 26 hot stocks. Six of them are drop and pops. I'll explain that to you in a minute. And the other 20 are my favorite pattern, the atypical breakout. Now, if you watch my show on a regular basis, you know exactly what I'm talking about here. That's when you've got your 200-day SMA coming down fast and furious like a ski slope and your price up underneath it, it too falling. Well, when the 200 starts to level off and get flat, that gets the burden off of the price so it too can turn up and start to climb and then it shoots to cut through that 200 and this is where we get our breakouts. And I got 20 of those to share with you folks. So let's dive on into this. We're not going to need anything but my favorite playground, Think or Swim, to do this due diligence. This here is my playground. <laughs> it is... This is my free trading platform, Think or Swim. I spend a lot of time over here. Most of the time I'm having fun, though I do have a few bad days, to be completely honest. So we are going to take a look at six drop and pop stocks that I found while I was scanning through charts today. I went through about 800 to 1,000 charts. No, I'm not BSing you. That's the truth. But it didn't take as much time as you think. I scanned the charts. There's nothing to read. I'm only looking at them. And I'm looking for a pattern. Particularly, I'm looking for this pattern, which looks like nothing is going on. And that's the trick here. That's the secret message. There is something going on there. We just can't see it until we focus in on it. So we're looking at ticker SRNE. This is Sorrento Therapeutics. We've got her on a six-month, four-hour chart. And we're going to look at all the charts on the six-month, four-hour view. That's how I look for heat. So looking at this chart, it doesn't look like anything's going on, but that's because of the way they have the chart set up. They have got these SMAs coming out of the sky all the way down with nothing up here. Then they push the price all the way down and flatten it so it looks like nothing's going on when there really is. So if we come past the SMAs right here and just focus in on the chart, you can see we've got some big drops and pops going on. Now, I'm going to back this up a little bit so you can see where she's falling to. I've already put my SNRs in here, supports and resistances, the channel she is bouncing in. She is coming down here to 0001, looks like about 10 times here. 
She hits that triple zero one and she does bounce up here to 1.6 cents. So you're looking at a 16,000% run right there. But more often than not, she is coming up to this area, which is right about one cent. So you are looking at 10,000% gains here, folks. Now keep this in mind. When you invest $100 down here on the floor and it goes up 10,000%, you just made $10,000 off of that $100 bill. So we're not talking about putting a lot of money in here. What we want to do is put in an order and have it waiting for the drop. And I'm not going to put it in on the basement floor. I'm going to put it in at like triple zero three. I put it in at triple zero one and it comes down to triple zero two and then bounces. I missed it by that much and I missed everything. I would rather sacrifice a little and get something kind of like a loaf of bread. Just think of it as cutting off the ends, the crust. I don't want the ends of crust. I just want the loaf in the middle. So I'm going to come in here at triple zero three and I'm going to sell up here at one cent. It's probably going to go past it, but I'm not greedy. I just want to get gains. And then after I sell, I may put in another standing order down there at triple zero three wait for my magic ding, and then sell when it comes back up to a penny again. That's another $10,000 off of a $100 bill. That's exciting, isn't it? Now, I'm going to go through some more charts here, but I'm not going to do any of the math in my head. I'm going to throw the math down on the bottom. It'll tell you what the percentage gains are between the numbers we're talking about. Remember, that's how much money you get for every $100 bill you invest. Taking a look at the next stock. This is S-R-A-X. Again, we are on a six-month, four-hour view. This has had some wild bounces, folks. Huge jumps. Now, I have drawn up two channels here, one in the past and one in the present. This one in the past was beautiful, folks. She started back in February, and it went pretty much until May. You're talking three months you could have played this one. She is starting her run. She's dropping down to 3.7 cents and she's jumping up to 19 cents. You're looking at 600% gains right there. Every $100 bill is worth $600 up here and she hits that often, 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 often. It's her low she started to lift. As she started to climb, her bounces started getting less and less deep. However, Coming up here into current times, look at some of these bounces. We are up here at 45 cents, right? She's hitting her head here at about 39, 40 cents. Most of these drops are coming down to about 19 cents. So you've got about 200, 300% gains here. But some of these drops are going clear down to 2 cents and coming up to 39 cents. You're, it's huge, folks. That's 18 times your investment. So that's $1,800 for every $100 bill you invested down here when she pops back up here and you sell. You're getting the idea now, right? Take a look at another S. This is S-I-V-B-Q. I promise I wasn't doing these in alphabetical order. This is just coincidence. Again, we are on a six-month, four-hour view here. And as you can see, we had a long channel here, very long. This started all the way back in December and it's come right up here until the beginning of June. Our floor, we are here at 001. Our ceiling is at 10 cents. So that right there, that's 10,000% gains. That's another $10,000 for every $100 you invest down here. But don't buy on the floor, right? Buy above the floor, cut off the ends of the bread. Get in here at triple zero three, ride it up to eight cents. Okay. I don't know what the percentage is there, but it's going to be huge gains folks. Now, if you want to be safe, get out right here. She seems to be in current times, not getting up here as often anymore, but she is definitely getting to here, which is a nickel. And you're going from double zero one to a nickel. That's $5,000 for every hundred dollar bill you invest. Get in down here pop out up here and you can do that over and over and over and over again. Think how much money you could have made on this stock. Take a look at ticker RGTPQ. 
I've got to guess this is probably bankruptcy, but it really doesn't matter, folks. Look at this one. Wow. Talk about bounces every other day. She is jumping here from, let's just call this two cents to make it easy, up to 10 cents. That's another $500 bill for every $100 you get in down here. So you put in your order, you wait to hear the ding. You put in your order to sell, you wait to hear the ding and cash out. Then she is probably going to fall again. So what do you do? You put in another order. If she doesn't ever fall, you didn't lose anything. And the chances of her coming back up after she falls that deep are very good. We have proof in the pudding here that she bounces a lot. So you could have made $500 over and over and over and over again on every $100 bill that you put into this stock. Now she's done doing that folks. She has started to break out and she's climbing. So we're not looking at this stock. We're just looking at stocks that have this setup. Now the ones we've been looking at are still good to play. Let's take a look at another S stock. This is SEVCF. Again, we are on the six month, four hour view. Our floor is down here at uh, 002, 0022, and our ceiling is up at three cents. So you're looking at 1,500% gains there, folks. $1,500 for every $100 bill you invest if you go from extreme to extreme, but we're nibbling off the ends, right? So we're down here at 002. You probably want to come in at 0025, 003. And you probably want to get out at uh, two and a half cents. You know, go from 0025 to two and a half cents. That's $1,000 for every $100 bill that you invested. And you could do that over and over again. She drops and pops, drops and pops. Look at how many we got there, folks. You can make money just on these stocks going sideways. Last one I want to share with you for the drop and pop. This is Main Street Chamber, ticker MSCH. Squeeze this up nice and tight for you. Wow. Wow, look at our low, two and a half cents. Our high here is 55 cents. Wow, folks, you're looking at tw over 20 times your investment. You're looking at over $2,000 for every $100 bill you put, put in. Now, we're not up that high with our ceiling. Our ceiling is closer to about 42 cents, and our floor is near 8 cents. Again, nibbling off the ends, right? Let's come up and grab this at, shoot, call it 10 cents and get out up here at 35 cents. That's 350% gains, folks. That's good money. That's $350 for every $100 bill that you put in. Put in your order down here. Wait for it to ding. As soon as it dings, put your order in up here below the ceiling. Wait for it to ding. Then go get another order for it to drop. If it doesn't happen, you're not losing anything, right? Absolutely. So this is what I do, folks. I come over here to my scan. I put in a penny stock scan. You might as well do it all from triple zero one up to $5. And then just start looking at your charts. Now me, I've got this all set up real quick. So all I got to do is hit this and I can see my charts. I got a button attached to it, but it does become a pain. I'm looking over here. Then I got to draw my eyes over here and get this arrow on top of the next button. Then I look over here and what a pain. So I set this up like this. I bring up my watch list over here. I've got it for $1, $2, $3, That is my scan, but I have it set up as a watch list, but it is constantly updating. I don't have to do anything with it. I then have my charts attached to my list. See that yellow two and that yellow two. So all I got to do is click it, but now I don't have to look. I can just use my keys. I can use my arrow key on my, my board here and look at this. This is how quick I look at them. Does that look like a flat line? No, I'm not seeing anything I like. Well, there we did. So I'm just going through these this quick, really looking at a four hour chart. And since I'm looking for drop and pops, I'm looking for something that looks very flat. Something going sideways that looks like it has no activity whatsoever. When I find it, I zoom in on it. There's an atypical breakout, right? 
you got both the price and the 200 day SMA falling fast and furious coming down and then all of a sudden right there our 200 day haul starts turning up it's turned blue our volume has come into the picture she has jumped off of the 200 haul through all of her SMAs to and through the 200. You don't expect the first breakthrough to be the runner. You expect it to come back down and start beating on top of that 200, making sure it's solid. May even throw down a deep pillar and come back up, solidifying it so she can start to climb. And that's what I want to share with you now. I found 20 of these atypical breakout charts, and I do believe QLGN is one of them. And I'm going to share these with you, but we're not going to talk about them too much. I just want to share them with you. Now, this is going to be quick and simple. I am going to show you 20 charts for hot penny stocks. I found these this morning, and most of them are atypical breakout charts that are getting ready to break out. They're right up underneath that 200, already turning up, looking sharp. The others are ones that have already broke out initially. They're coming down, bouncing on that 200, probably going to take off again. Now, I've given you the tickers. I've given you the charts. If you need to pause this to get more information, by all means, do so, folks. Now, as far as I'm concerned, a hot chart is the most important part of a hot penny stock. You don't need a big hot catalyst, a small cool catalyst, a stale catalyst can get these charts running. But it isn't going to hurt to do some due diligence and pick out the hottest ones, folks. I've given you the charts, now you go find the information. Remember, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See you, folks.